how are you? How are you living? And how are you running? Are you running well? The Bible refers to uh, the life that we live as a race that we run. And as we run this race, we need stamina, we need endurance. There are times when we fall down. There are times when we find the going very tough. But all we need to do is keep on running. And we need to run this race of life with endurance. Hebrews chapter 12 verses 1 and 2. Therefore, we also, since we are surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses, let us lay aside every weight and the sin which so easily ensnares us, and let us run with endurance the race that is set before us, looking unto Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross, despising the shame, and has sat down at the right hand of the throne of God. So here we see some instructions on how we should run the race. The first thing we see is, let us lay aside every weight and the sin which ensnares us. So the writer of Hebrews is saying, lay it aside. What is that weight which is slowing you down? And you and I know it, and it's different for different people. No one expects to run a race weighed down with heavy dumbbells or heavy weights. And some of those things that slow us down could be regrets, memories of the past, things like, I wish I could have done that, I wish I had said that, regrets. Now these are weights which slow us down. It is like a slow leak in a balloon or slow leak in a tire. They slow us down, they weigh us down. So scripture says, let us lay aside those weights. What are those things? Make an inventory of it and lay it aside. The second thing we see is, lay aside the sin which easily ensnares us. Now sin looks very attractive, sin is pleasurable for the time being and so on. But sin ensnares us and slows us down and prevents us from running our race well. And God is for us. He wants us to run the race well. He wants us to finish well. And so the instruction that he gives is lay aside that sin. It will, it, it, sin will only ensnare us, entangle us, trip us and make us fall. And the third thing we see is to run with endurance, with stamina, to keep on, keeping on. It says, run with endurance, looking unto Jesus. And that's the key, looking unto Jesus, who is the author and the finisher. In other words, he's the author, he's the originator, and the perfecter of our faith. So we need to look at Jesus, look at his life, hear his voice, and we will be able to run with endurance. To look at Jesus means that we need to turn away, look away from certain other things. And that's a fact. We can't look at all the things at the same time. I need to look away from certain things that are slowing me down and I need to look at Jesus. I need to focus on Jesus. And when I do that, when we do that, we will be able to run with endurance, the race that is set before us. So God is for us. He's inviting us to run this race with endurance, with joy, because He is walking with us. His presence is with us. Let's pray. Father, we thank you for the race that is set before us. What a privilege, Lord. You've called each one of us to this life. You've given us this gift of life. And even as we live this out every day, God, we thank you that you've given us the strength to run with endurance. We want to look at you and look away from the things of the world, for then you will truly run with endurance. We thank you, Lord. We give you all the praise. We give you all the glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.